Since 1963, for 50 years, the West Virginia chapter of the Nature Conservancy has worked to conserve over 120,000 acres of the state's finest natural areas. One individual has volunteered his skill as a landscape and nature photographer to help the chapter succeed in their mission, and that person is Kent Mason. Day after long day, often rising before dawn and working in all kinds of weather and in all seasons, hiking the forests and mountains of the state, Kent has taken literally thousands of remarkable photographs. Kent's contribution of those images has proven invaluable to the work and success of the West Virginia chapter. Well, West Virginia is just so tremendously diverse in terms of its habitats and in terms of its, in terms of its weather. We're right on the Eastern Continental Divide. Uh, West Virginia Highlands has the highest average elevation of the Allegheny Mountains going from the Carolinas or Georgia all the way up to Maine. Uh, you have lower elevations like at, at the bottom of the New River Canyon, which is the second oldest river in the world. Very diverse. The more I thought about it, the more I decided that you know I, I needed to put photography and my love of nature to some useful purpose. My favorite photographic place is Bear Rocks Preserve. I wasn't aware that Bear Rocks was actually a Nature Conservancy site. And when I discovered that, I said, gee, you know, they preserve this. And then I found out Dolly Sod's Wilderness was the first wilderness in West Virginia and was made possible because Nature Conservancy bought up all the mineral rights and created the, the opportunity for the for the federal government to take this forest, which, which was once heavily forest land and was in the process of, of regrowing, uh, and turning it into a really spectacular wilderness area. And I guess the most satisfying part of it for me is that I see my images being used in a constructive way to promote conservation and, and preservation of this uh, really unusual habitat we have here in West Virginia. They say summer here lasts for about a couple of days. The, you start seeing color in the month of August. So the, the summer months are really, they really are very short. Uh, I've gotten some wonderful images with the, the, the leaves still in color and six inches to 18 inches of snow. Now winter, when winter comes, they actually close the road. It's common up here in the winters to uh, have 180 inches of snow. The ice on the trees gets so thick, the wind so demanding on the vegetation that the tops of the trees break off. Through the process of working with Nature Conservancy, I'm getting out in the wild, which I love, and hopefully inspire people to, uh, to preserve more of this landscape. Mm -hmm.